I'm pretty sure most of us wouldn't even be able to recognize happiness if it shot up and roundhouse kicked us in the face. Straight up. Here's the deal, you fam. Happiness can be pretty hard to evoke, to acknowledge, and to maintain. Now, most of us tend to look at happiness as a spontaneous burst of feel-good emotions that are triggered by external factors. Like someone was nice to us at school, you achieved a new milestone as a couple and bought your first house, or you consume a bunch of margaritas on vacay and can't remember what year this is. Although happiness is a feeling of being content, joyful, at peace, but it is also a conscious choice that requires planning, effort, and even sometimes sacrifice. 40% of your happiness levels are actually preset by genetics. 60% you are in complete control of. And you control those happiness levels by doing something that you've probably been told you should do over a million times. Being present. And I mean fully in the present moment. Easier said than done. Why are so many therapists and motivational speakers or other mental health care professionals almost imploring us to practice mindfulness? because the most control you will ever have, actually the only control you do have is in the present, because the past is long gone and the future, as much as we plan for it, you have to factor in that little bit of unknown slash unpredictable chance element. Focusing on the present moment allows you to control your actions and your thoughts, which together guide your emotions not the other way around. Sometimes you might not feel very happy because you had a nasty time at the office, but you do have control over how you greet your family when you arrive home, how you think about the daily unpleasantries and hurdles we all face. Now, having the power to control your happiness levels is one thing. Choosing to do so is kicking it up a notch. Choice is, in my opinion, the core the heart of hearts of happiness. If you find yourself staying up all night thinking to yourself, why can I be happy? I'm so unhappy right now. To that, I ask you, well, did you choose to be happy today? When given all the opportunities to choose happiness over indifference, jealousy, hate, sadness, did you willingly pick it from that lineup? On average, we as human beings make over 35,000 choices per day. Now, I don't know about you, but those are a lot of opportunities to be content, to be kind and supporting, to be loving and joyful. Bottom line, being present allows you to be more observant of all the choices you get to make during the day, giving you the power to act think and react in a way that will evoke and maintain happiness levels at the height you want. Now, that's all well said and done, but really, if you don't like yourself, if you don't respect yourself, and if you don't bother to take care of you, then surprise, surprise, that's going to influence your decisions. Why do you think you spend hours on end binging self-help content on YouTube or reading self-improvement books, but never seeing any results. It's because you don't care enough about yourself to actually put in the work, make those harder decisions that will help you truly change and get better at choosing happiness. And I won't go down the rabbit hole of true self-love because I can make 60 videos on that topic and might get cancelled for it too, because I have a very different opinion on that subject that uh, what is actively being shoved on our throats, okay? But one thing I encourage you to do is at least take a small peek at chatter work. You don't even have to do any research on it. I've done that for years and years and years and put it all conveniently in one ebook. It is a shameless plug, yes, but will you personally benefit from it? Yes, yes, and double yes. So sorry, not sorry, but you can be in the present moment and consciously decide to choose happiness if you subconsciously wish to punish yourself. Being happy, is hard work, but it is also worth it. 
because you're worth it. And because if we get more happy people walking around, it will encourage others to also become happy people walking around. And that should be our collective goal for this year. Okay, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I am back to my regular posting schedule once a week, but you don't know what day of the week, so hit that bell so you get the notification when the next video is up. Thank you everyone. Bye.